In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to apply custom animations to Fuser's construction equipment. To create a custom equipment animation, first select and place the equipment you wish to animate. If you don't know how to place equipment, please watch the Equipment Placement and Pathing tutorial. You can find a link to this tutorial in the video description below. Once your equipment is placed, click on the part of the equipment you wish to animate. If that part can be animated, the Animation Console will appear below the Element Properties window. Please note, Fuser's equipment animations are state-based. What we will be creating are individual states. Fuser will then animate the transitions between those states. At the top of the Animation Console are the position controls. To manually change your equipment's animation position, click and drag on the Manual Position Control. The manual position control will vary between a rotation arm and a slider depending on the selected part's animation type. To set your position to an exact value, input a degree or distance value into the New Value input box and press Enter. If you are unsure what values apply, the part's current position as well as its minimum and maximum range of motion are displayed above the input box. Continue this process for all the parts you wish to reposition until you have achieved the state you desire. Once you are satisfied, you can save your state using the animation state controls found below. For now, we will skip over the grab object and move object controls. These will be covered later in the advanced tutorials. To add your newly positioned state to the end of your animation, click the Add button. A new state frame will appear at the end of the animation state slider below. To insert your new state immediately after your currently selected state, click the Insert button. To update the position of a state, select it, change the animation position, and click the Update button. To delete a state, select it and click the Delete button. To jump to a specific state, click the state frame in your animation state slider. You can also scroll through your animation states using the scroll bar. Once your sequence is set, you can review your animation by clicking the Play button at the bottom of the animation console or by right-clicking on your equipment. To reset your sequence back to your first frame, click Reset, or right-click your vehicle after the sequence is completed. To loop your animation, check the Loop checkbox. To change your loop animation speed, click the desired Time Multiplier radio button. Keep adding, modifying, and inserting animation states until you achieve your desired result.